Achilles tendon injuries, ranging from tendinosis within the tendon to a complete Achilles tendon rupture, can be very difficult to overcome. Would peptides like BPC-157 or thymosin beta-4 speed healing? Would regenerative medicine options like exosomes, PRP, or stem cells be a reasonable option? My name is Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. Achilles tendon ruptures, as I mentioned a second ago, can be anything from a small area of degeneration within the tendon. It could be tendonitis, but that's not really what we're talking about here, more of a tendinosis or tendinopathy, or it can be a partial or complete tendon rupture. Those injuries are tricky to heal. Some people can hear, heal from a tendinopathy or tendinosis with rest, things like physical therapy. But when it gets past that and it's just not working, and again, these are typically very active people, runners and otherwise athletes and, and other types of really active people, it can be really problematic. People don't want to shut down from their sport or exercise. They're hurting and starting to bother them in their daily lives, and they look for other things. You can't typically do cortisone shot. You can't really inject cortisone into a tendon. That's been shown over and over again to increase, to basically weaken tendons and to increase the chance that they rupture. So that's not necessarily a good thing. So we're going to talk real quickly in this video about more regenerative options, peptides, PRP, exosomes, stem cells, things like that. As I've pointed out in a number of videos in this channel and specifically my modern medicine playlist, all of these treatments that I'm about to talk about are considered experimental by the FDA and by insurance companies. So they're not covered by insurance. They're typically treatments you have to pay out of pocket for. Not a lot of orthopedic surgeons do them because they're considered experimental and I'm not pushing them in any way. I just want basically to put the information out there because I get a number of people that ask, hey, is this an option to try to help me heal? And I'm trying to provide information, unbiased information that you could at least consider it. And so these are potentially things that you could talk to your doctor or orthopedic surgeon about. But again, I am not promoting that by any means. And if you want more information about why all these are considered experimental, potentially where to get peptides, that type of thing, I've got a number of videos on my modern medicine playlist. So definitely check those out. As far as the Achilles tendon goes, peptides, we'll start with peptides, have actually been studied in animals for Achilles tendon ruptures. There have been a, a several studies looking at rats where they basically severed the rat's Achilles tendon, then administered BPC-157, that one specifically, and had good healing of the tendons. Now, that is not a, a a type of study you can do in humans, even if you randomize you know, this group of humans, we're going to cut your Achilles tendon, or maybe you cut them all. Like you just couldn't do that kind of study. Uh, they and it has not been studied. You take 50 people with Achilles tendon ruptures, give half peptides and half not, and just see how it goes. Achilles tendon ruptures do full ruptures first, in my experience, in active people probably need surgery. The peptides might help that Achilles tendon, whether it's BPC-157, uh, CJC-1295 to maybe strengthen the muscles in the area, maybe maybe thymus and beta-4 could definitely be helpful in getting that to heal. If it was me, I would not feel comfortable uh, without surgery given the high failure rates or the high recurrence rates of non-operative treatment for Achilles tendon ruptures. I know there are a few studies that question that, but that's why almost all athletes end up having surgery for their Achilles tendons to get that tendon to heal. But there may be a role for the peptides in strengthening that repair from surgery and certainly strengthening the, the ligament itself, but also the muscles around that ligament in the recovery phase. So there may be a phase of that. And if you want more information about why peptides might be helpful there, I have a number of uh, more general videos on what peptides are and how they work. But those would be things potentially uh, that may play a role. As far as more regenerative treatment options, things like PRP, exosomes, stem cells, uh, there have been studies looking at PRP injected into and around the Achilles tendon to, to try to help tendinosis heal small areas of tendon degeneration within the tendon. And it is thought that that potentially could be helpful, certainly as an alternative to cortisone uh, in these problematic areas. Because if, if 
you're just not getting that much better with sort of the traditional physical therapy and rest, maybe a boot, then sometimes the treatment is surgery where the surgeon goes in and cuts out that area of the tendon, disease tendon, and sews what's left back together. But if that's a large area of the tendon, that can be a really problematic thing. Sometimes you're talking about a reconstruction of that tendon to basically provide a normal, healthy Achilles tendon. And that's got a monstrous recovery. So something like PRP in that setting might be beneficial, um, partial tear or tendinosis. The exosomes or stem cells, and I've talked about exosomes in other videos, if you want to know what are exosomes and why they potentially might be helpful, but might be going a step beyond that in terms of trying to get tendons, in this case, the Achilles tendon to heal. Those are considered experimental by the FDA, again, not promoting that, but may down the road over the coming years show even better results. That's certainly the hope uh, in the regenerative medicine world and the orthopedic surgeons that do regenerative medicine, that stem cells and exosomes may be even better than PRP, but those are all conceivably an option if a patient is okay with trying something where there just aren't that many human studies, certainly not the randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled studies that you'd like. But again, those studies are very, very expensive, and this technology is very new. It's, it's changing very quickly, so that's something to keep in mind. So I'd love to hear your experience with your injury, your Achilles injury, whatever it is, tendinosis, complete rupture, whatever. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand that I can't offer you medical advice if you leave a question in the comments, but I can do what I did here, which is to answer that question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my monthly Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.